um, and just to give you a bit of background about that. Um, so you may or may not know, but basically dancer into doing kind of crazy stuff like a lot of hip hop dance, breaking um, for a long time. And then um, I'm also, I work in the fitness industry and I teach um, as well Pilates and for fitness. Um, so back in 2011, got an injury, tweaked my knee um, and I couldn't basically place any impacts through the, the kneecap. Um, but being an active physical monkey junkie, I had to find another way of kind of releasing, you know, all the stuff inside me, a lot of crazy energy. So I was also teaching pole fitness um, and I've never really resonated with that world, the lifestyle, the, the, the kind of style, the, the behaviour behind it. Um, but I really liked going up and being in air and using something to work with as opposed to just me and my body like before you know breaking this is just working with your own body weight it's, it's amazing stuff but um, yeah it was just a different way of working so I kind of started to look at how I could transfer the concept of being up in the air but kind of make it work with my interests and make it work for my body and something that I felt comfortable with which wasn't wearing like 10 inch heels and flicking my hair about and kind of being really you know hippie with it although you know when I teach you know I, I'm coming very much from the conditioning angle yeah strengthening um, angle and flexibility building flexibility so yeah so basically it's just a case of right I've always been inspired by hip-hop culture I've been breaking for like 12 years I can't do that anymore at the moment so I found that actually going up and suspending myself placed no um, impact through my knee joint when I was at air. So it was actually just felt really natural to say to someone, hey, let, let's go outside, let's see what we can work with outside in, in the cityscape, um, in, the, in the street if you like, um, without sounding really corny, and just see how I can work it physically with, with what's on the street. So it was very obvious, similar to a pole indoors, it's a street pole, street post, lamp post out. So I started climbing lamp posts, being like psycho, getting all <laughs> kinds of looks, and then capturing the moments where um, not just climbing, but also then thinking creatively how I could um, create shapes and freezes, drawing on my inspiration from b boy which one component of that um, expression is, is about freezing, so being in, in static motion, pulling a, a, a shape. So I looked at how I could take shape to air and then take it to the outdoors. So now I'm actually expanding the concept, so it's not just about street posts and lamp posts, but I'm also really interested, it sounds really weird, but doorways and scaffolding. So it's all about looking at the furniture on the street and seeing how I can integrate um, physicality within that, um, in, in an athletic, bold, um, creative way. Um, and so yeah, what I'm going to basically go through is just what I've learned as, as I've gone out and done the thing, um, a little bit of uh, the method um, and break it down into hopefully what's going to be really manageable chunks. <laughs> Good. You're looking crisp and white, too. 